All right, guys, Agni here. We're going to cover week two slash three of Barren Land. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, uh, like I said in the little intro there, we're going to cover week two and three of Barren Land, um, as well as some tactics. But before we get into that, going to get into the usual shenanigans. Uh, this video is sponsored by Aptoid. We're using my code AGNE2023. You can get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases simply by following the link that is on the screen right now. And uh, we'll be down in the description down below to be able to get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases if you have an Android. Um, as well as that, there's going to be a link to my Discord down below uh, where we will soon be doing a $500 giveaway. Uh, so feel free to join in and have fun with that. All right. So with week two uh, and week three of Baron, week two, you're still kind of working towards getting your 40k honor, uh, building up for um, being able to get your ants, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But as you start to go into week three is when you start being able to fight. So one of the things that you really have to um, look at as far as from a leadership standpoint is, and it's really a, a tactical thing as well. Um, you almost never want to try to go ahead and pick a fight with the strongest alliance of the three on three. Um, unless you believe that you can just blow them out of the water right away. But, <coughs> sorry, still sick a little bit. Um, you also have advantages and disadvantages from what area you are in. So as you can see, like with this, with the rec area, um, you get, uh, like your proportion of seriously injured soldiers will be reduced if you're part of uh, the red camp and the proportion of champion points one, uh, will be reduced. So as in, in like stone camp, <coughs> same thing. <coughs> so whatever camp, sorry, I'm still getting over being sick, but whatever camp that you are in, that's what's going to determine whether you get those buffs or those uh, debuffs. And so trying to go after the strongest um, alliance on that team is not necessarily a good idea because if you're good, unless you happen to be in one of your buffed areas, going after them in their buffed areas is only a deficit to you and really kind of hurts you in the long run. Now, what you can do is if you have one of the weaker alliances that you can handle pretty easily in those areas, then that is something that you can target. But otherwise, you really want to kind of to, um, stay away from the areas that they are buffed, especially if you have a pretty even matchup. And as you can see from what we did, we did not follow that advice whatsoever, and we got beat over in that area, uh, which in turn made us lose a ton of fungi and lose a lot of footing in that area, um, which in turn kind of really messed us up down in this other area as well. So that for the entirety of the event really put us at a major disadvantage which is not going to help us in the long run when we go to try to win the tree um so for each of the environmental areas which is what these are called the environmental areas you really need to pay attention as to which camp controls um that environmental area to really help you in the long run but all right that's pretty much uh all I got for you guys, um, hopefully that helped as far as with tactics and such, um, and we'll see you in the next one. Egg out.